Hello guys and gals, this is me, Madman201, and today we are reviewing Doom 2016. Okay, so before I start reviewing the game, we need to talk about some things on the channel. Um, like, the reviews in this type of format I'm doing right now, this and Black Ops 3 will be the last two reviews done in this format. I'm actually doing a new type of video style. But yes, you will see gameplay, so don't worry about that. Gameplay will still be in the review, but however, it's going to be scripted and you're going to actually be seeing me in the video. So yeah. Um, I haven't decided what game I'm going to do, but to just give you an idea of what game might be on this first new review format, and I will actually hit the episode numbers on this. Because I am going to be over exaggerating my opinions slightly. And, uh, I guess kind of trying to make it somewhat comedic. Um, and yeah. So, that first episode, that first new review might not be until like later. I don't know when. But, I do expect it during sometime during the summer, definitely. Because, yeah. I got time to work on it, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. With that out of the way. Let's get into the review. Okay, how does Doom 4 differ from, um, yeah, I'm gonna be calling it Doom 4 because that's how I feel this is, it's the Doom sequel. Um, or it's not, it's weird, it's the game's weird. Okay, so anyways, Doom 4 campaign. Um, is the probably the main highlight of the game. The multiplayer is very shallow, but it isn't as bad as a lot of people have been saying. It's decent. I'm not really too fond of the original Doom's multiplayer, nor am I fond of Doom 3's or this game. So, yeah. I never grew up with the, uh, you know, the, uh, the classic old school shooter multiplayer, so... Yeah, I mean, like, for Doom anyways, like, I have played it before with friends and stuff, and wrecked them pretty bad, but, like, it's, it's not really my thing, like, if I do play, like, you know, like, an old school shooter on the multiplayer side, it's, I'm probably playing, like, Quake 3, or whatever, but, uh, it's because that game's actually really balanced with the other thing. It's actually really solid. But, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so. Doom. How, what does this game do exactly? That it differed from its predecessor, Doom 3. Doom 3 is very dark, atmospheric. Where's this game? Like. Is my god, is it violent as hell? Like, like Doom 3, I, I noticed there's like no blood at all until like when you kill the cyber demon at the end of the campaign in the original Doom 3. And, um, uh, and then, uh, what's it called? Um, um, in here, blood's everywhere. Blood, gore, limbs flying off. It's just... <laughs> lovely. <laughs> it's it's nice to see Doom back at its roots. The combat is fast. Fast-paced combat. Um, oh yeah. What, yeah, like, a lot of the combat's very fast-paced. Um, the glory kills, they actually don't interfere with, um, the, the pace of the combat. It actually works really well. In fact, I was able to chain kill on multiple occasions, kind of like right there, just on the screen. Um, you could chain kill. Yeah, I did doing it here again. Yeah, it, it actually speeds up the combat and gets you out of tricky situations. And yeah. Um. So yeah. What, what differs from this game compared to, like, uh... Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Some of the other differences from this from Doom 3 
is the variety of enemies and how they're kind of introduced. In here, you really don't get a fancy cinematic for each thing, like in Doom 3, introducing the enemies, because when you first ran into Hell Knight, the only one you really get, like, is somewhat of a cinematic, is the Imp, but then everything else just kind of comes at you, in your face. And, yeah, um... Well, it's not even, like, cinematic, really. It's just, like, a little thing where it's, like, <laughs> the imps all, <sighs> It's the first demon you see. And not the zombie, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. The imp designs in here, I actually prefer it over the, uh, Doom 3 imp design. Um, because I, I, I didn't like Doom 3's imp design, to be honest. I, I thought it looked kind of weird. And I like how this imp kind of homages the original, but at the same time does its own thing. And I, I thought it was pretty cool. Oh yeah, unlike its Doom Three counterpart, it, it like it doesn't really like 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 um unlike its Doom Three counterpart, it's actually a lot faster, like a lot faster, and it can climb on walls. But its Doom Three counterpart couldn't only, because I think the only time the imps even were on walls in Doom Three or like. It was kind of like scripted, whereas in here they they just do it whenever and they're shooting fireballs at you while doing that, and yeah, and they, they move pretty fast. Um, but of course they're cannon fodder, easy kill. The Hell Knights, um, they're like the Doom Three designed Hell Knights instead of the Doom One designed Hell Knights, which. Doom 2, I mean, Hell Knights, which is kind of a bummer that they don't look like the Doom 2 Hell Knights. It, it just sucks, but I I did like the Doom 3 Hell Knight design. I thought it looked awesome. So, it, it's kind of one of those redesigns where I'm like, ah, it kind of sucks that it's not like the original, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I can see why they changed it, because believe it or not, people, the Baron of Hell is back. Eep. Missing from Doom 3 in Doom 4 slash Doom 2016, whichever one you prefer to call it. <laughs> and my god, it, yeah, it's, I, was, I remember when I saw it in the trailer, I was like, no way. <laughs> I was just blown away, man. I was like, what? You know? And it, yeah, so you got that and the Baron of Hell in here. And I, I figured they would just reskin it or something like they did in Doom, like the original Doom. But no, they had the Baron of he the Hell Knight, a different, uh, had it as his Doom 3 counterpart, but slightly, uh, changed different. Because, okay, this is the funny thing. This Hell Knight in here reminds me of the Hell Knight from the Doom movie. Yeah. I, I just referenced that awful, awful movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Hell Knights charge at you, and um, quite fast too. They don't really do projectile attacks like they did in Doom 3, nor do they walk, not walk slow, because obviously they're charging at you. The Hell Knights, the ba yeah, no, the Baron of Hells do the exact same thing. They charge at you, except they actually still do their projectiles. Oh yeah, Rune Trials. Rune Trials uh, are these things where uh, you get like special, like these things called runes, which are like special abilities or whatever. And you can only have a certain amount of them. And yeah, you gotta do like things like this and it's timed. And you gotta do it quick. Like, shenanigans. So yeah. Okay, now back where I was going. So, okay. So the uh, Cackle Demons look pretty damn close to the original counterpart. They work almost exactly the same as they did in the original Doom. Same thing with the Mancubus, um, the Lost Souls actually kamikaze into you, which is quite annoying. Um, and then, uh, but their design is like classic Doom, and not Doom 3. Then, uh, the, uh, what's it called? It, um, there's no Archavel in here, which was a bummer. Um, the, uh, uh, 
Yeah, there's like two different versions of the Mancubus, and then there's uh, this one thing that I guess it was supposed to be an Arch Archvel or Archvile um, replacement, and it was a uh, uh, you you see in this gameplay, it, it, it's that thing that's teleporting over there. That's like right there, like in front of the Hell Knights teleporting around them. And yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I'd hide there. <laughs> but yeah, so, um. So yeah. Um. As far as. There's quite a few zombies, actually. I was actually surprised that the zombies uh, were. There's quite a wide variety of them. Definitely mixes it up instead of seeing the same two zombies over and over again. Quite refreshing, actually. Um. Uh, combat in here plays like Doom. Run and gun, man. Run and gun. No hiding behind cover because you will be dead if you try to do that. Trust me. I would know. I would know. And every person who's ever played any Doom game would know. You, you don't need that. So, the audience that, you know, plays COD or whatever. Yeah, this, just, if you're gonna play this, you gotta keep on the move. Like, a lot. Um, but, yeah. So, um, since it is very much this run and pace, run and gun shooter, the map is huge in here. And, you got lots of room to run, run around. And, so it's not really a problem. So much as far as like like Doom 3 where you're in the corridors but Doom 3 was more slower paced combat and this is like very 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 fast paced combat and um, yeah does this uh, does this installment was this necessary as far as like a sequel should go um I was I wanted a new Doom game I mean, Every Doom fan, I think, wants one, but at the same time, we were really unsure that we wanted to get it. Especially at this particular time period, because all the original IT software members that were here when uh, the original Doom was made are gone. Or, yeah, are no longer at IT. So, yeah. So, everybody was kind of worried that this might be a disaster. And this game had a long development hell. Um, but it actually came out great. Better than what everybody really expected. It's one of the first first person shooters in a while I've played where I really felt like I was like it, it was like I don't know, it, it was like it was like when I picked up Pokemon X and Y. When I bought that, it was like, it was like, uh, <laughs> it was, it was like actually, you know, just it being fun playing a game, you know, having a good time, just it actually being really fun and enjoyable and, and the gameplay satisfying and it's just so well put together. The map design's great in here, probably some of the best map design. And like forever, man. <laughs> this game, it, it's doing nothing revolutional. Let me get that out straight. Revolutionary. It's doing nothing. What it is doing, it's doing what it knows how to do, and doing it damn well. And probably better than you expected. And this game just delivers because it knows what it needs to do. And it does that with a few little things that make it even better. And it's just great. Um, as far as uh, as far as like um, the multiplayer goes, it's man. I'll get to it more when the multiplayer footage shows up. But um, the campaign, um, I suggest you guys play it on a. Uh, the highest difficulty you should play, unless you're like that person who can play Nightmare on Doom No Problem, 
is um, ultra violence because uh, there's some areas that get super cheap. Um, me personally, I'm a person who likes to play a normal because I am not a masochist. And I want to enjoy my games and not be frustrated and throw my remote into the screen. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I guess I'll get into the, uh, multiplayer. And yeah, I made my player kind of rested look and kind of did a color scheme kind of like the Quake Ranger. Unintentionally. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, like, uh, when you play multiplayer, you have a class system set up. Similar to most modern first-person shooters, which, to be honest, I, 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 you didn't need that in here. Um, for me, my biggest gripe was not being only having two weapons. That bugged the shit out of me. Because here I am in campaign with like four dis, like five different other fucking guns, or even more. Cause I, I don't know, I don't know how to count. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that's like, okay, so, you have the, hold on, let, let's count. <laughs> you have the plasma pistol, the shotgun, the double barrel shotgun, the light machine gun, the chain gun, the plasma gun, the chainsaw, the BFG 9000, the rocket launcher, and then that rail gun looking thing. So you got 10 guns. Over 10 guns! You can carry. And in here? Multiplayer? Only two. What the fuck? Come on. Just no. 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 Um this is just frustrating. Nah. And also the player movement speed's kinda slow. They should have speeded up like the original Doom because that's what the one thing I could appreciate about classic multiplayer, uh, old school multiplayer, first person, well, old school first person shooters, uh, multiplayer, like Quake and stuff, it's what I like about Quake 3 Arena, is, it's, you're running around that map pretty, f pretty fucking fast, and so is everyone else, so it, it's kind of like, like people say, oh, God, it is a Twitch shooter, that, no, it isn't, you, you haven't played Quake, man. And this feels like more like Call of Duty or Halo as far as like smooth at speed and I think Doom doesn't Doom shouldn't do that. Um I do like though how you get to customize your weapons in here. Um like the colors or anyways. Like that's kinda cool. Um you can't really talk shit about that, but I think it's really a thing up to opinion whether you like it or not but yeah um you could control if uh, you find these things called demon runes you could actually control uh become a demon and depending on what level you are uh it depends what level you are and like depending on what level you are you can choose from different demons um you kind of like unlock them as you go the first one you get is the revenant and, um, controls-wise, it, it, it actually controls pretty basic. Um, like, just like a regular character in there. Nothing too basic, so if you already know the regular controls, you're good. Um, but yeah. Um, and then, like, everybody in here really is just using chainsaws and, uh, double barrel shotguns. Or not chainsaws. Chain guns and double barrel shotguns, that's literally all you see. Just about. Um. In fact, hell, I'm using it because it's effective for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. I did have fun playing the multiplayer. Um. That's the one thing, though, when I was playing this, was. Um. There wasn't really a lot of moments where I got pissed off because of the cheap half, and usually I died because the other player is better than me. <laughs> but at the same time, I found it hard to get kills. Um, so yeah, it, I don't know. I think the weapons also need to be reworked for multiplayer. But yeah. 
Um, yeah, the, the controlling the demons thing, as, as I was talking about earlier, the demon runes, is, uh, I thought that was a pretty neat feature, and, uh, it's definitely a bonus, as far as, like, good aspects of the multiplayer, and just, I was actually surprised about that. And, um, I, I think it is a good addition. When they do a Doom 2, uh, they should definitely probably do, um, Probably do uh, the uh, what's gonna call it uh, that that again the demon room if that was pretty cool. Um, then you get these things which kind of act like um, uh, I God damn it the uh, the fuck I forget what they're called in here but then I forget what I was trying to compare them to. Well, like in Call of Duty Modern Warfare three and in uh. NW2, if you died so many times, and you had, like, this, the, ah, I can't remember what they're called, but, you would get, like, uh, like, martyrdom, you know, that, that shenanigans, or, like, you, you might be able to see, like, like, um, like, it'll give you some type of advantage, or something, whether it's before or afterwards. Or like after you die and before you respawn, or after you respawn, then you can use it. Um, and down here in Doom, it works like after you die, but you have to activate it. Um, I yeah, you get to choose between them, and then it just kind of goes. Um, but yeah, the maps are actually not too bad designed. Not the best multiplayer map, but decent. Um, snap map. I, I tried messing with it. It, it's, it's as far as on the consoles, it, it's pretty fucking terrible. Um, wasn't a big fan of it. I'm a person who personally uses Doom Builder when, like, just you know, just on regular Doom. In Doom 2. So on Doom 2016, I was expecting something like that. Or something. Or like Forge Mode in Halo. And, uh, yeah, we got this. Kind of something similar to that, but. It, it, similar to Forge Mode, but it. I don't know. It, it was just weird because it didn't really. Because it wasn't like Forge Mode where it was super easy to figure out everything and like, oh, okay, no problem. It's kind of like, uh, what the fuck do I do? I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. Uh... <laughs> so, yeah. It... I imagine it's probably better in the PC. Um. And, yeah. And if you're wondering what I'm playing on, it's PS4. And if you want to add me, it's the same as my, my PSN username. the same as my YouTube, so, yeah. You can, uh, um, if you want. I, I really don't care. But, uh, yeah. Um, overall, the content on here is. On the multiplayer, lackluster. Campaign, fucking excellent. Um, the campaign is just soup. is what makes this game. And it's what I. Went to go, like, I actually rented this and played through a good portion. I was playing this game for the fucking campaign. Who does that anymore? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's a dying thing. People put, buy games for multiplayer, and, and I, I think you could definitely buy the game for the campaign if it's a game focusing on the campaign, like Doom. Or any id software game. Um... Just know, like, if you're going to Battlefield or COD, it's, you, you're getting it for the multiplayer. That's what the main focus is. So you really just gotta know what the main focus is of the game. If it's focusing on the campaign more, or is it focusing on the multiplayer? As far as, like, when you go buying for free to choose. But, um... I would love to see more games play, like, Doom in the future. As far as, like, the campaign. Um... That would be great. And if uh, the multiplayer could play like a campaign for the next one, that would be even more awesome. 
And if this does well, and let's say we start getting first person shooters like this again. Especially with the map design of a Doom single player. Man, that would be fucking amazing. Oh. It's so great. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the things. These are my, some of the things I forgot about. There are key cards like in the other Doom games. I, I didn't really talk about it too much, and I'm only talking about it now because, uh, for the people who haven't played a Doom game or any classic FPS game. Key cards, you collect them, you have to find them, they open doors, etc. Get the trail. Um, but yeah. So, overall, rate this game 10 out of 10. And, yeah. This is me, Mamba201, and I'm out.